Show on, show on. Call her like like and how about Shimmy Oshai? By Shimmer Kakadash. All praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the word enemy calls God. In the name of His Son, I'm going to say Yahweh, Shai, who the word enemy calls Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit, I'd like to give a double honor to my elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And double side to tell you, Akim, the men that are prophesying in name throughout the four winds of earth, person is truth, the righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. And to the Yahweh, the few sisters that are listening, learning to you, I say Shalom. Coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shia Shai. But when to add a fine faith and lives in Yahweh by Shia Shai, I pray it's less to be at a fine and straight to the point. And there's a lot of judgment going forth, man. All right. And as you all know, and there's a few articles I'm going to show. All right. I'm not going to read all of them. But basically, there's, you know, a lot of judgment going forth, man. All right. And of course, this first judgment, of course, this is my profile here. All right. All right, this is a a tornado that happened, you know, last week. Okay, so <laughs> a lot of judgment is going forth, man. All right, and the spirit and wrath of Yahweh Bashin Yahushai was felt, man. Was felt through this storm right here that touched down in parts of Arkansas. All right, here where I'm currently at. It didn't hit here, but it hit in other parts of Arkansas. It hit in parts of, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, you know. So, hey, the Lord Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shah was felt, man, okay? So, I'm going to read a little bit of this article here, and then I'm going to move on to another one, all right? Then I'm going to play a video and show you the damage that it did, man. It wiped out a whole freaking town, man. Uh, I think it was, I think that uh, it was man, Mayfield, Kentucky, I believe, all right? So, let's read a little bit of this, all right? It says, I'm so scared. Frantic video shows chaos of deadly Kentucky storm. All right. <laughs> it was deadly. All right. It says the room is pitch black out. It's like pitch black, but out of the darkness. Ken, Kenna, Kiana Parsons Perez voice emerged to assure her co-workers that, were, that they will make it out of the collapsed building Alive, calm down, calm down. We're going to be okay. Parsons Perez said in the video shared in social, shared to social media after the roof of the Kentucky candle factory she worked at fell in when tornadoes hit late Friday in the early Saturday. All right, so <laughs> man, that was a powerful storm, man. Okay. Uh, let's see, it says, there have been at least 70 deaths in Kentucky alone, official says, all right? So, hey, <laughs> 70 deaths, man, and it and turns out it's actually more than that. So, you know, this was done December the 11th, but hey, there's probably more deaths than that, man. So, a lot of judgment is going forth, man, through storms. Hey, how about Shin Yasha is speaking, Okay. He's no longer playing with you Israelites, man. Okay? Alright? He ain't playing anymore. Okay? So I'm not gonna read any more of that. Just talking about. Uh, let's see, hold on. Mm, let's see. I'm gonna read down here. It says I ain't really gonna read that up there. Speaking with in it NBC News via via voice note in the aftermath of the incidents, Parsons. Perez says that when the storm hit, she and her co-workers were told to go to a storm shelter area towards the back of the candle factory. She said everyone was getting down, taking cover, and then suddenly her ears her ears started popping. <laughs> like you know when you're in an airplane, she said. Then she said the, the lights went out, and then before you know it, it was like the building rock and collapsed and we fell down. So, hey, you know, she survived this. And the lady that's, you know, spoke about this, she said, actually survived this thing. But, hey, hey, she was lucky this time. Hey, the Lord kills and makes a lie, man. But next time, hey, ain't going to be no next time, man. Okay? So let's play a little bit of the video here. All right, let's go to it. All right, 
where the damage was, man. All right. Hold on. Let me keep it. All right. And hey, this tornado, man, it tore up. It tore up uh, Mayfield, Kentucky, man. And you're going to see the damage. I'm not going to play all of this. I'm going to play a little bit, of, maybe about a minute of it. All right. And then we're going to move on. Because, hey, you how about Shin Yang Shai? He spoke. All right. So let's play a little bit of this. See all that, man? Look at that. Look at that damage, man. Look at that. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. How about Shimmy Outshot? He spoke. All right? <laughs> he spoke to this storm, man. Look at that, man. Look at that. Ain't nothing left, man. Nothing left. <laughs> man, nothing left. Man, y'all bustin' me outside. He ain't playing, man. All right? Let's get a quick scripture right quick before I move on to the next article. All right? Let's get this. This is Hebrews 10 and 31, man. All right? Hebrews 10 and 31. Straight to the point. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. All right? The Lord is described as being terrible, man. The kings of terror, okay? So, hey, Yahabashim Yahashai is someone to fear, all right? So, hey, Yahabashim Yahashai, hey, you peak, hey, you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans, man, you're going to learn to fear the Lord Yahabashim Yahashai, especially going into 2022, man, okay? All right? So, if you don't fear the Lord now, you will soon, okay? So let's get another article, all right? I'll put that one in the description box, all right? This is from Newsweek.com, and brothers done did lessons on this, all right, concerning this subject, all right? It says, father kills ex-girlfriend, wife, and himself, leaving kids waiting in the car, man, all right? You know, this Jake went on um, Facebook and posted about how he killed his ex-girlfriend and his wife, and then turned the gun on himself, man. Spirits created for vengeance, okay? So, hey, man, look. The Lord Yabashi outside is no longer playing, man, okay? So, let's get some scriptures, all right? Let's see. First, I'm going to cover this whole, you know, this whole storm thing, man, all right? Because, hey, the Lord Yabashi outside, he visited. All right, he visiting this place, man. He's starting to visit the world which he made. All right, second is the night child. And let's read this first. This is uh Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flames of devouring fire. And that's what happened, man. Okay, so hey, Yahweh Yahweh He's visiting the world which he made. Let's get that. So I'm quoting it. <laughs> Might as well go and get it. All right. Second is chapter 9. And I'm going to start at verse 1. All right. The point is in verse 2. I might read all the way down to verse verse 5. All right. Second is chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure out the time diligently in the self. And that's what we're doing. We're measuring the times diligently, man. The Lord, Yahweh, he's going to. Said he was gonna bring plagues upon Babylon, man. 
the new Egypt. Okay? Let's read this. Second news was 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. That's what he's now about Shemiel Shah is doing. He's visiting this place. Okay? Hey, he's starting to visit the world which he made. He's bringing judgment upon this place. You think 2021 was bad? Oh, man. Wait till 2022. Whew. A lot of death and a lot of judgment is going to go forth, man. So, hey, you got two choices. You're going to take this truth seriously. You're going to repent. Or, hey, you're going to become one of those two-thirds, man. And, hey, two-thirds are already destined to die on this side. So, hey, judgment is going forth. <laughs> All right. Verse 3, therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. And you're seeing that now. Verse uh, 4, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Like as all that is made in the world have the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. Okay, the end is being manifest, man. All right. Let's go to another one. Alright, Psalms 83 and verse 15, alright, before I read that article, alright, let's cover this first, first judgment that went out, alright, Psalms 83 and verse 15, so persecute them with thy timbers and make them afraid with thy storm, and that's what the Lord Yahweh is doing, he's making our enemies afraid, hey, these nations are going to learn to fear the Lord Yahweh man, He's also going to make you Israelites fear. Okay? Alright? Uh, let's see. Mm. I'll try to make sure. I ain't leave anything out. Okay. We good. Alright, let's go. Alright. Let's get this. Alright? And we all, and like I said, many brothers done did lesson on this. Alright? <laughs> About this Jake man. Alright. Let's read a little bit of this. It says police in Maryland said that a man. Baltimore, Maryland said that a man. Fatally shot both his girlfriend and ex-wife on Sunday before taking his own life. So hey. <laughs> the Lord put the spirit on this Jake to do this man. Okay. Police in Baltimore respond to a call about an alarm on Saturday and found a 41-year-old woman who had been shot and was pronounced dead by the time medical responders arrived, which means she was dead on the scene. Police then received information that the suspect planned on committing another killing in Howard County, Maryland, said Baltimore Police Commissioner Mike Michael Harris in a Saturday press conference. At the time, he said police were still working to notify family members of the victims and could not release their identities to the to the public. All right, and hey, the times we coming in, man, you women ain't gonna have no protection, man. All right, no more police. When there's no more police, no more nine one one. Hey. You women ain't gonna have no protection, and men are going to go berserk on you, man. Okay? Because, hey, you women, the way you treated men, especially you so called Negro, Latino, and Native American women, the way you treated your Israelite man, okay? Hey, these times are coming, man. Okay? And it's gonna be far, far worse. Okay? Hey, men are gonna just go crazy. Okay? <laughs> Let's read a little bit more. Uh, let's start. Let me read this and then we'll jump down. It says, according to the Baltimore Sun, the suspect posted a video on Facebook live outside of an apartment building in Columbia, Maryland, before he allegedly killed his ex-wife. Alright, so he killed his ex-girlfriend first. Alright, I guess. It was his ex yeah. Let's see. Hold on, let's keep reading. Alright. Yeah, I think he killed his ex-girlfriend first and then his ex-wife. 
I'm guessing. Or his ex wife or his ex girlfriend first. Let's keep reading though. He says, anyway, I just did something crazy, man. I just shot my ex girlfriend in the head, he said in the video. So let's see. Let's keep reading. Felt like a dream. I never thought I would be that guy. <laughs> Lord sealed that instructions in his mind, man, to do that. I can't go to prison, so the person that really started my depression and all of this is my ex-wife, so she's next. So he killed his ex-girlfriend first, then he killed his ex-wife. So there you go. <laughs> and then he turned the gun on himself. Then I'm going to do it to myself too, so he get to bed. I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> all right. So this guy kills his ex-girlfriend first, then his ex-wife, then turn the gun on himself, man. So, hey, let's get a scripture on that. Because, hey, those spirits create revenge, man. Okay? Lord put this. As a matter of fact, I think. Let me go. Let me get this first. Um, I think it's Job 34 and... Uh, I think it's 33. <laughs> yeah, right here. Um, Job 33 and verse... Mm, let's see. I'm going to start at verse 15. Job 33 and 15. I'm just going to make a point in here. Okay, the point is in verse 16. Job 33 and verse 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men... And slumberings, slumberings upon the bed. Then he opened the ears of men and said their instruction. All right, who does this? Yahweh Bashim Yahshai does this. He says your instruction on what you're going to do, man, the next day. So there you go. Like it says, a man's goings are of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. How can a man understand his own way? All right? You don't do things. On your own. There's no such thing as free will, man. Lord Yahweh Yahshai directs you in doing things, man. All right. What's going to lead me to this next scripture? Uh, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's leading me to this next scripture right here? This is uh, Sirach or Ecclesiastes 39 and verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. All right. That Jake. That was he was a spirit created for vengeance, man, which in their fury lay on sore scrolls. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. All right. All these were created for the wicked, man. All right. Verse 31, they shall, so like, they shall rejoice in his commandment. Whose commandment? Yahweh Yahshua's commandment. Because Yahweh Yahshua commands these death angels to do the things that they do, man. To kill. Hey, there you go. And they shall be ready upon the earth, upon earth when need is. All right. These death angels are ready when need is. And they... And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. They're not going to transgress the word of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, man. Okay? No. They're not going to do that. All right? So what this guy did, he was a spirit created for vengeance. Okay? Let's move on. All right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Sloppy. This is from the New York Post. It says at least six killed in Amazon warehouse slammed by tornado, man. All right. So you, this is another, uh, another judgment, man. Another more judgment. Okay. All right. More judgment. And we're going to see more and more of these things happening as we get close and close to the end, man. Okay. Another judgment. <laughs> load up <laughs> more judgment right here arizona mom 38 driving with husband and eight months pregnant daughter all right when she was pregnant is shot 
crashed into walls and dies after she honked, honked at driver in apparent road rage horror. <laughs> you remember that movie? Just like in that movie on the hands, man. All right. Ain't no, like it says, be circumspect, man. All right. It says a woman from Arizona has been killed after a possible road rage shooting. Stella Montez, 38, was found inside her car, which had crashed into the wall. It believes she had honked at another driver who was stopped at a red light. <laughs> at after the green light changed, after the light changed to green, she honked before going around him. Driver then caught up with her, who then fired between eight to ten shots, killing her. Damn. Whew. It reminds me of that movie Unhinged, man. All right, have you seen the movie Unhinged? The ass with the uh actor um. Name. What's that Edomite actor name? Uh, Russell Crowe, yeah. All right, this Edomite, this Edomite lady, she honked the horn, and then, <laughs> yeah, you get to bed, man. You, you probably seen the movie, Unhinged. All right, so this driver became unhinged. All right, hey, man, now it's not the time to be doing things like that, man. Let's get a scripture on this. What it says, man, be circumspect, all right? All right, a lot of folks don't know what times we're in. Okay, this is Ephesians five and verse twenty. It's not like Ephesians five and fifteen. I'm sorry. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Why? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're in evil days, man. All right. Anything you say, anybody can say anything to you, man. Look. People say gonna say a lot of things. People gonna do a lot of things in these days and times to try to get things stirred up, man. All right. Hey, I'm not saying you shouldn't defend yourself or anything like that, but what this lady did set this person off, and look what happened. Lord also put the spirit on this person to do what he did. Who him or her did? Whatever. Who, I don't know who it was. Another spirit creative avengers, man. All right. So Rock thirty nine verse twenty eight. Another spirit creative avengers, man. Okay? <laughs> hey, man. Lord ain't playing, man. Okay? So, hey, you have to be circumspect, man. Walk with wisdom. Don't be honking your horn at people and stuff like that, man. If you're driving, hey, if you're out, somebody say something to you, don't say shit back. Hell, just walk away. Sometimes you got to learn to walk away from confidence. Not saying you shouldn't defend yourself, but sometimes it's best to walk away, man, you know, to keep, you know, to keep things, you know, settled down. Because now it's not the time to be trying to, you know, buck up and trying to act like you tough, man. Because, hey, people on a, people, look, people are on hands, people are on edge, people are losing it, man. People are about to lose it out here. So now it's not the time to be, you know, trying to act all tough and macho, man. All right, I'm talking to you Israelites, man, because, hey, the times we living in, and look, it's only going to get worse, man, okay? The Lord, you how about she all shy? He's bringing that sword, man. He's bringing that judgment, all right? All right, this is Job 19 and verse 29. Be ye afraid of the sword, for wrath bringeth punishments of the sword, that ye may know. That there is a judgment, all right? You be like, hey, a lot of you folks, when you see all these folks dropping dead, and a lot of these folks, you know, just, you know, hey, you're going to know that the Lord Yahabashi Yahashai is behind this, okay? This is Sirach 40 and verse 8. Such things happen unto all flesh, both man and beast, and that is sevenfold or more upon sinners. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation and discourages. These things are created for the wicked. All these things created for the wicked, man. Right? Like it says in Job 4 and 7. Remember I pray to you, whoever perished being innocent, where will the righteous cut off? Okay? 
And when you're about to see a lot of people, like it says in uh, Psalms the 91st chapter, man, you're about to see the reward of the wicked, okay? All right? These things were created for the wicked, and they, and for their sake came the flood, okay? Let's move on. All right? Let's get this. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord Yahweh shall have not done it? Okay? The Lord Yahweh shall controls both good and evil, man. Let's get this. Isaiah 45 and verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Shinyashai, do all these things. All right? And the more death you're about to see, man, death is in the air. Judgment is in the air. Okay? All right? Let's get this. This is Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just Lord, Yahweh Shinyashai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bringeth his judgment, does he bring it bring his judgment to light? He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Two thirds of our people, they don't understand judgment, okay? But they about to, okay. This is Jeremiah eighty seven. Yea, the stork in the heavens knoweth her appointed times, and the turtle, and the crane, and the swallow. Observe the time of their coming, but my people know not the judgment of the glory of Our people, you Israelites, man, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, you don't understand judgment, but you're about to, okay? And hey, more judgment is coming, all right? So it's time for you Israelites to get right, man, or else, okay? This is Psalms 9 and verse 16. The glory of Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his hand, hanging on Selah. Okay? Alright? Verse 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that, that forget Yahweh. Alright? For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectations of the poor shall not perish forever. And who's the needy and the poor in this society? You Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. Verse 19. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh Shinyashad. Let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Hey, you heathens and you wicked Edomites and you two-thirds are about to be judged, man. Verse 20. Put them in fear, O Lord, Yahweh Shinyashad. That the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. Okay. So hey. The Lord's about to put you nations in fear man. Okay. Let's get this. Psalms 91. And verse. I just quoted it earlier. Okay. Mm, yeah. I'm going to start at verse. Mm, wow. <laughs> Let me see. Wow, uh, <laughs> man, I'm gonna start at verse 2, man, <laughs> I gotta start at verse 2, Psalms 91, verse 2, I will say of the glory of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in him will I trust, so hey, the elect is gonna trust in Yahweh, Yahweh, surely he will deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. This sloggy, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Okay? So the Lord Yahweh is going to, like he say, he going to use his angels to protect this and let. Okay? Alright? Verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrows that fly by day. Alright? And this arrow speaks many foes, all right? It's basically talking, all right? He's going to talk about the missiles, but also bullets can be known as arrows, man, okay? Because, hey, people getting shot up, people getting judged out here, man, all right? Horrible judgment is happening to these wicked-ass people, all right? especially you wicked-ass Israelites, man, okay? Verse 6, Nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor... 
of the destruction that wasted at noonday. Verse 7, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Alright? Death is not going to come near his elect, man. Okay? Verse 8, Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And we're seeing the reward of the wicked. Death and judgment, man. Okay? Alright? Verse 9, because thou hast made the Lord Yahabashim Yahashai, which is my refuge, even the most high Yahabashim Yahashai, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. All right, so the elect is going to be protecting in these times of Jacob's trouble. And man, we're about to get into the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Jeremiah 37 and Daniel 12 and 1, a time that is like no other, man. With utter chaos, judgment, people getting shot up, women getting ravished, <laughs> cannibalism, you name it, man, okay? It's about to be brutal out here, okay? Verse 11, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, man. He's going to give his angels charge to keep his elect, man, all right? Like it says in, uh, let's get this, Psalms 34 and verse 7, I believe. Yes, Psalms 34 and 7. The angels of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashai, encampeth around about them that fear him and deliver them. So, hey, the angels of the Lord are going to, hey, encamp around the, Lord, the Lord's elect, the ones that fear Yahabashim Yahashai. And he's going to deliver his elect. Okay, Lord willing, we're, we're part of that number, man. The whole full elect. Lord willing, we're part of that number. All right. You don't want to be, <laughs> you don't want to be caught up in the judgment, man. Because, hey, two-thirds, they don't fear the glory. How about some y'all shy? All right? Let's get this. And this perfect timing right here, man. This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the glory, how about some y'all shy, said unto him, Go through the midst of the cities, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And who is sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, man? The elect, the men of the Lord. We're sighing and crying for all the abominations, man. We're tired of this wicked place, man. We're vexed here, all right? This place is vexing, all right? All right? And that mark of the wah is a mark of exemption, exemption from judgment, okay? Verse 5, and to the others that don't have the mark, which is basically two-thirds, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the, through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. All right. And this time, basically, Lord Yahweh, I'll try giving those death angels to, hey, get busy. And this is only a, and this is only half of what's coming, man. Wait till these death angels really get released. Oh, man. You're going to see people dropping dead all over. Okay. Excuse me. Verse 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. Man, even little children will be getting slaughtered out here. So they go to show you that, hey, <laughs> the glory how about Shin Yashai is not all loving like you people teach in the church, man. Okay? Come on, man. You, know, you talking about little children, all right? Little children. All right? Look what happened to Nick Cannon's baby. His uh son had, I think his son, his uh five month old son just passed away of uh brain cancer man so hey you come back and whatever you did in your past life whatever that spirit did in his past life it comes back and receives the judgment man nobody is exempt from judgment all right lord will hey lord will us the whole full net we're exempt from judgment two thirds of you Israelites, you're not exempt Okay? But we pray to the Lord Yahabashim Yahashai that we're exempt from judgment. Alright? The whole full net. Okay? Let's read this. Uh, verse 6. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. Okay? Like it says in uh, 1 Peter 4.17. Judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, man. Okay? It's going to start at you Israelites, the ones that's in the truth, that know you Israelites, and not doing what you're supposed to be doing, and the ones that, hey, 
They're not in the truth. Okay. Let's get this. This is Isaiah 13 and verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord, Yahweh shall cometh, both cruel. So it cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it, man. Death and destruction is coming. Okay? Nothing good is coming, man. Okay? Verse 10. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened into his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. Verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. People here, people are just proud, man. Okay? Especially here in Babylon. You got Edomites that are proud. You wicked ass two-third Israelites. You proud as hell. Hey, too much pride, man. Hey, the Lord Yahweh about to is about to bring, low, bring that pride down low. All right? This is Isaiah 2 and verse 11. The lofty look, looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of man shall be bowed down, and the Lord Yahweh Yashah alone shall be exalted in that day. All right? The Lord Yahweh Yashah is going to be feared and exalted in that day, man. You nations are going to learn to fear the Lord Yahweh Yashah. Two-thirds of you Israelites are going to learn to fear the Lord, man. Okay? When the Lord really brings that judgment, it really turns up the heat here in Babylon, the great America. Okay? Verse 12. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh, shall host shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Hey, including you women, man. You women are also going to be humbled. Okay? And that's why judgment, <laughs> man. Judgment is really happening to you women, man. Whoo. All right. Let's read this. Second Ezra chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse 1. Behold, speak thou unto the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord Yahweh And that's what we're doing. The men of the Lord will prophesy. Warning you, Israelites, man. Okay? We're speaking the words of prophecy, telling you what's to come. Warning you of the impending danger, man. If you don't repent, you're going to die. Okay? Verse 2. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Like it says in Isaiah 55, verse 11. So shall my words be that go forth out of my mouth, and shall not return to me void. Okay? The words of the Lord, Yahweh, are not going out void, man. Okay? Verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. We're not going to let your doubt and your... Yo, your unbelief trouble us, man. Okay, why? Verse 4 For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Verse 5 Behold, the said the Lord Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Why, Lord? Verse 6 For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Wickedness have exceedingly polluted this whole planet earth, man. Okay, verse 7. Therefore said the Lord Yahweh Shai, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Who's doing this? The men of the Lord. We're complaining. All right, we're crying out to the Heavenly Father to come get us out of this wicked hellhole, man. We're ready to get hell out of here, man. All right, come rescue us, okay? Verse 9, and therefore said the Lord Yahweh Shai, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. So, hey, the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to avenge his elect. Verse 10, behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will, suffer, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, and Egypt is symbolic to America. Verse 11, But I will bring them with a mighty hand, and a stretch out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. And that's what's happening, man. Yahweh Shia is bringing plagues upon this place, all right? As he did in ancient Egypt, okay? 
Second Exodus chapter 16, verse 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? All right? This is the times of evil, man. The beginning of evils, judgment, death, famine, plagues, destruction going forth. Verse 19, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges, man. Two thirds of years in life are not, hey, you don't understand judgment, man. All right? Proverbs 28 and verse 5, Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord Yahweh Shah understand all things, and only the elect understand what's going on, man. All right? And this is the glory of about Shin Yao Shai. Hey, he's collecting the debt, man. All right, that's old. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill and I make a lie. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, hey, judgment is going forth, man. All right? So, hey. You got two choices. Let's get this and then we'll close it out. <laughs> I ain't mean to go on this long. All right. So Rock 5 and 7. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord Yahabashi Yahashai, put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord Yahabashi Yahashai come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord Yahabashi Yahashai, man. All right. Time to, hey, the time to repent is now. Okay. So, hey, you got two choices, repent or die, okay? So, I'm going to end the lesson here. I pray this lesson was edifying. All praises to you. How about Shemiel Shai, by Shemiel Kakadash, Devil Lord, to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who were well, shall want to the whole thing like. See you on the next video, Lord willing. Kwame Yashirang, Shem Wan, Wai, Ba, 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 DTA, discussing the Babylon of Great America. And let my brother, Kabar Dama, say, boom, Shem Wan.